Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss inclination. The inclination is a referral to the angle that the line makes with the x-axis. Now what you must remember is that m is usually equal to the change of y over change of x. And from your trig you know that tan theta is also equal to y over x. Therefore we have that m is equal to tan theta. Inclination is calculated from tan theta. What is also relevant is that it always moves from the positive to the negative. You're never going to see your inclination running clockwise. Your inclination is always running from the positive x-axis towards the negative x-axis. So basically it's running anti-clockwise. It is not running clockwise. Now when you are working with the gradient Basically, it is all your general solution. So if I gave you that m is equal to a half, what would you do? You would tell me that tan theta is equal to a half. Now, from your general solution, you know you'll press shift 10.5 and you'd have that theta is equal to 26,6 degrees. What is different here is that since we are working on a straight line, for this general solution, your limit is always going to be between 0 and 180 degrees. And from your Cartesian plane, you know that from 0 to 180, in the first quadrant all are positive. In the second quadrant only sin is positive. So summarizing this, it would mean that if your gradient is positive, I'm going to be in the first quadrant. But if your gradient is negative, I'm going to be in the second quadrant. What do you know from your general solution? The first quadrant, the angle is as it is, but the second quadrant it's 180 minus whatever the angle is. Now, let's try another example. If I gave you that m is equal to 3 and I gave you that m is equal to negative 3. Calculate theta for both of them. Now since we know m is equal to 3 we can immediately say tan theta is equal to 3. In your calculator you press shift tan 3. Since we're rounding off we're going to have it 71,57 degrees. Since I am in the first quadrant I know theta is equal to 71,57 degrees. How do I know I'm in the first quadrant? Tan is positive. That's your first one. It's positive in the first and third. But we know that since it's a straight line, it's only first and second. So I'm only working in the first quadrant, which means my theta is as it is. Theta is equal to 71,53 degrees. Now, what if I got that m is equal to negative 3? Then I have that tan theta is equal to negative 3. From your trigonometry, you know you're not going to press the negative sign in your calculator. The negative is simply to tell you which quadrant I am in. So when you press shift tan 3, you're going to have theta is equal to 71,57 degrees. But we have a limit. We know that tan is negative, which is in the second and fourth quadrant. But since it's a gradient, it's a straight line, so we're in the first and second quadrant. So the only place we're working in is in second quadrant. Therefore, we have that theta is going to equal to 180 minus 71,57 degrees. So we have 108,4 degrees. So we have theta is equal to 108,43 degrees. Now, why am I not doing plus k 180 in it? Because this is not a general solution. This solution is limited to a straight line, which in your 
geometry that you had started from grade 8 you know the sum of the angles on the straight line is equal to 180 so since we're only going to work till 180 degrees we're never going to exceed these two points so when we're doing inclination we're going to limit ourselves to first quadrant and second quadrant we're going to limit ourselves to either a positive answer and if it's a negative answer 180 minus now let's do a complete example if I was given the following drawing and I was saying calculate the inclination of line AB now we know we're going to get gradient so gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we're going to mark our information so we have 0 minus 4 over 4 minus 0 0. So m is equal to minus 1. Once we have that, we know that tan theta is equal to m, which means that tan theta is equal to minus 1. Now, what are they talking about when you're talking of an inclination? An inclination is from the positive x axis to the negative. So basically, what it's saying is start on the right and move to the left so if you look at your drawing I'm going to be on my right and I'm moving towards my left so the angle that they are referring to or the inclination of AB is going to be this angle over here now once I know that tan theta is equal to minus 1 you're going to press shift tan 1 which will give me theta is equal to 45 degrees but since it is negative, I know I'm in the second quadrant. So theta is equal to 180 minus 45 degrees, giving me a value of 135 degrees. So I have theta is equal to 135 degrees. Thank you for watching.